Hi, I'm Ella. Today is my first day of work here. Great. Hey, I'm Devon. Uh, let me get Rose and the rest of the team. Hey, Ella. <laughs> I hope your coworkers haven't been scaring you too much. We're getting so busy here, so we're really glad that you're part of the team. I'm happy to be here. I actually got the offer on my birthday two weeks ago, so that was a very memorable end to my summer. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. <sighs> so today is October 1st, then... Uh, so you're September. September 17th? Yep, I'm a Virgo, baby. Yeah, Virgo. I was gonna say that, but I thought it might come off a bit weird if, you know, you didn't know or like horoscope stuff. Oh, I love it. I mean, it adds a tinge of mystery, comfort, and interest in our lives. It's not that I get guidance from it to make decisions, but it's just... Entertaining? It's so popular and widely available that it just became a habit for me to read. I read it when I see it on newspapers or come across posts about it on Facebook and... And yeah, it's actually a lot more than just the quote-unquote sun signs. Whew, I'm glad that somebody around here likes to talk about horoscopes. Wait, are you seriously talking about horoscopes on Ella's first day of work? You know when you're reading horoscopes, you're sharing it with roughly one twelfth of the world's population. Aw, but come on, love. <laughs> What's wrong with a little self-amusement? <sighs> That's fine. I'm just skeptical of people who follow horoscopes literally, word for word, as a guide through life. You know, in psych class, we went over the Barnum Effect, a psychological phenomenon where people have the tendency to believe that personality descriptions apply specifically to them, more so than to others, although the description is actually filled with information that applies to everyone. Oh, Barnum. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you have a point there. Those are horoscopes, right? They're purposely written vague enough so anyone can really fit and identify with them, especially when the statements are phrased positively, like, you can be overly harsh on yourself and very critical, or sometimes you can be loud, outgoing, and a people person, but other times you can be quiet, shy, and reserved. A majority of the population would agree with those statements. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but also, in my opinion, astrology offers ideas. A lot of people like to dismiss it just because, well, it's quote-unquote not a hard science. A few years ago, the New York Daily News used to have a horoscope writer, I believe his name was Eric, and I think he said it best when he mentioned that astrology is a branch of philosophy, that the writing is more or less advice, and well, the advice is either helpful or unhelpful. It's subject to validation. I don't really understand why people get so upset over other people having interests in reading horoscopes if, in all honesty, they're not harming others in any size, shape, or form. <sighs> okay guys, it looks like we're all in agreement here. People like to read horoscopes for various reasons, most of them being for entertainment, a conversation, or even just to reflect. No personality test can fully capture everyone's character, but it doesn't make the assessments any less valuable. They do not claim to predict the future, it describes emotion and perception. Yeah, I get that. Daily sun sign horoscopes are inaccurate because they're written for the masses and as humans, well, we're way too complex to be pinned down by personality tests. But at the same time, they can also be a tool for self-knowledge. It allows us to explore the gaps between what we know to be true about ourselves and what our test results tell us. <laughs> what sign are you again, Hope? <laughs> Jokes. What's all this commotion here about? Horoscope talk? Is today a full moon or something? We tried something different this time. What do you think? Could you relate to Ella, Devon, Hope, or Rose? How do you feel about horoscopes? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you soon!